first one. And it was very close to the Hollywood sign on this little peninsula that had the most amazing views. And I found the guy's information, right, because I had all the time in the world. I spent a week or longer looking for this person's information when really I probably could have found it. Now I could probably find it in five minutes, but that, that was part of it. And then that also got me realizing that uh, access to the right people and targeting the right people was really important. And if I was spending a month trying to get a hold of someone, that's probably a long time, unless I found that person to be so aligned with being able to help me solve a problem that I'd identified, that I could spend as long as it takes. If I spend that much time now looking for how to get in touch with someone, it's a little crazy and probably not the right use of my time. But for you, if you wanted to start a company, you spending a week looking for one client, looking for their cell, looking for the coffee shop they go to and what time they go there. And yes, it sounds crazy, but if you are manufacturing serendipity in the sense that you know where that person's gonna be and you can curate to some extent your relationship with them because you believe in what they do, do that. There's nothing, it, I mean, to a certain extent, right? But do that, be in front of them, go and talk to them, go after them and, and, and present to them your vision or your problem that if you've targeted them, they're probably gonna listen to you. And maybe it's five minutes, maybe it's an hour, maybe you develop a five-year relationship and sign them as a client now or in 10 years, and maybe nothing happens. But the worst thing that can happen is nothing happens. The same thing that would have happened if you didn't go talk to them.